What's going on guys, Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another PlayStation Vita emulator installation and demonstration tutorial. This is going to be about the Game Boy Advance emulator MGBA. Now I already covered the RetroArch tutorial for the PlayStation Vita which covers almost all of the emulators. However, it's always good to have different options. And this is also very simple to use that gives you a very decent Game Boy Advance gameplay experience. And with the touch of a couple of buttons you would be able to change the settings it's very simple it's a simplified emulator which provides great features along with some decent gameplay go to the link in the description and download the vpk file make sure that your playstation vitas are jailbroken with the help of a usb cable connect your playstation vita and using vita shell just connect the playstation vita storage onto your pc after that you're going to move the downloaded vpk file into the root of your sd card or if you have a dedicated folder that's where you're going to paste it if you would like to add roms for the emulator you can just do so anywhere literally i have folder named roms on the root of my sd card and this is where i have placed all of these roms for the separate system so for the game boy advance have a separate folder you can just place your roms over there or i'm going to show you guys the next steps on the playstation vita disconnect your playstation vita and just on vita shell you're going to look for the vpk file the, the copied vpk file just go ahead and install it you're going to see mgba on the live area now go ahead and run mgba this is not what you're going to see you're just going to see this on the screen you're going to have to set the paths for the roms and the bios files you can add the bios files inside the mgba folder itself the mgba folder will only be created after you run the application once it can be found inside the data folder inside the mgba folder you can just place your bios file if you do not have the bios file i don't think it's going to create much issues but still it's always good to include the bios files here you're just going to set the path of the roms for game boy advance so i have the roms here so i'll just select the rom and it's going to load up it's a very simple and easy to use so if you press the square button it's going to change the screens aspect ratio if you press on triangle you're going to get all the emulators options now if you go into configure the frame skip will be set to zero i have set it to one use bios files if found you can have it selected to on if you want to select the bios path i already have the bios files pasted for my retro arc so i'll just go ahead and set that just look for the bios files where you have copied so if you have copied it inside the mgba folder then you're just going to go ahead and select mgba and select the bios files for for me since i have my bios files inside the retroarch folder look for the bios file here so this is the bios file and that's it so you can also play game boy colors and all of these games yeah so i'll just demonstrate one after another so as you can see the game is running very smoothly now let's go ahead and select another game and see how that plays so let's select a game boy color game legend of zelda we are playing Game Boy Color games. Now let's try and run a Game Boy game. So now let's see if we can change the palette. Game Boy palette, you can change it. There you go. So yeah, you can toggle between the palettes by going into the options. RetroArch has a shortcut option where you can change it simultaneously. Here it's also like easy. Make sure that you can ju you just save it here. I don't know if there is a shortcut key for this here, but I'm not able to find it. For the screen filtering option, always select bilinear for all the emulators. Either it's for the Game Boy Advance or for the Game Boy Color or for the Game Boy itself. You're going to get a smoother graphics. This is not an official Mario game, but anyways. So this was MGBA emulator for the playstation vita it's always good to have more emulators installed it's just fun this was the tutorial for the mgba a game boy advance along with game boy color game boy emulator for the playstation vita if you like this tutorial make sure to drop in a like and subscribe you can join my discord server lots of people are joining in lots of it's getting much more interactive with every day lots of help you can be a part of the community or if you choose not to that's totally fine by me keep on supporting the channel and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one dr root 7 signing off peace